welcome back to our two-part series on our monthly expenses here in Mar Paz Apartments in Valencia, Negros Oriental in the Philippines. Uh, this is for May 2018. So um, in the last video, um, we talked about all the expenses and uh, including the um, lab work that I had done, uh, all those lab tests, and I had uh, three uh, office uh, visits for um, the doctor and the grand total for all the bills combined for the month was under our budget and our budget is 1500 uh, per month, 1500 US dollars per month. So we did manage to stay under the budget. Uh, we spent about $1,450, so that was good. So at the end of that um, video, I uh, presented you guys with a challenge uh, just for fun to see if you could guess what's inside um, the bag of uh, rice uh, that uh, had five kilos of premium Filipina, Filipino rice. And I gave you two clues. And the first clue was is it had been in there for three days. And the second clue was is that it's something that's very important to us and it goes with us uh, everywhere when we travel. So I was reading over um, the uh, comments uh, last night and uh, they had a lot of good answers, a lot of great guesses and uh, some of the guesses were pretty funny like uh, I laughed uh, quite a bit of them one uh, was uh, of course money was one of them uh, the one that made me laugh is the guy that said uh, rice uh, <laughs> that was buried in the rice uh, a lot of good guesses uh, iPhones uh, that was a guess uh, electronics was a guess and I'm gonna present the, the uh, winner of the, the contest without further ado let's check it out Okay, you guys ready to see what's in the bag? Mystery item in the bag, in the rice. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's it. What is this, what is it? Oh, is that my drone? Oh. My beautiful drone. Finally, the winner is It's Angela. She guessed cell phone, GPS, or drone. The answer is drone. Good job, Angela. Thanks for playing along. Drone. There it is. It's been in there three days, my little drone. It got wet, so I had to try to rescue it. Let's see if it works okay. Anybody want four kilos, five kilos of premium Filipino rice? That may be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna work on this to see if I can get it back to life, okay? And then I'll tell you the story. So while we're pulling with this, I'm gonna put the uh, protective fastener here. Back on. The gimbal is protected from jiggling around too much while we do this. There. Good, now we're gonna don't worry so much about that. I imagine there's going to be a little rice inside this device, but yeah, unless I can take the cover off this, I can't do it. Can't get to it. Hmm. Okay, I'm just about ready for the moment of truth. I take off the little gimbal protector here before I start it up. Put that back in the bag. See if this thing will fire up after taking a bath. Took a little bath. But first, let's say a prayer. All right, let's check it out. Okay, let's make it happen. Okay, I got one fresh battery already. And the backup batteries. Get this thing started up. It's looking around. That's a good sign, everybody. That's a good sign. It's actually turned on. Lights are on. It's okay. The flashing light's okay. We're gonna get that going, see if this thing's gonna work. Mm. 
Hello, my little friend. Hope you're not mad at me. I'll tell everybody what happened, don't worry. All right, everybody, I'm gonna come clean on what happened to my little friend here. He's forgiven me already, but we are trying to do a really nice fly through, weren't we? Yeah, over at the forest camp. Forest camp's got some beautiful waterfalls and pools and they're all uh, tiered and uh, uh, so nice. And I really was tempted to get some good photography for you guys. But I got to the far end of the area that I wanted to start at uh, and I was gonna work my way back and I got close to these, too close to these little tree limbs uh, and uh, leaves. And so it just uh, nicked those, went into that and then came right down into the swimming pool. Uh, luckily it was there for only about 10 seconds because my newest best friend ever uh, Larry Cummins uh, was uh, nearby and he retrieved it and handed it to me and I rushed it home uh, to put it in a bag of rice. So that's what happened and that's what does happen when you fly these little guys. It's just a matter of time if you're trying to really get shots and uh, little things can happen, you know. And uh, it's okay. Uh, it's, uh, so far I've had three little mishaps with this thing after flying it dozens and dozens of times and look at it, it still looks good. Still looks really good. And the good thing is, actually I was thinking about it later, if it had come down from that altitude and hit the concrete, I would have broken um, the camera and probably a lot of other parts too. So strangely enough, it seemed to be better that it actually went into the pool. I can't believe that with all the electronics and stuff in here. So that's what happened. So let's get on with it. And, and in a little bit, we're going to see if it flies and takes photography. That's the next test. And I want to see if my SD card is still working in it. Okay, let's go. All right, I'm going to do a gimbal calibration. Figuring out where it's at. It's going to calibrate the gimbal after that fall. Some skin in there. It's in a little branch. And I'm taking a nose dive into the swimming pool. So let that go ahead and calibrate. It looks like my sunset. I know it. Guess you can do it. calibration I think too. After this, it's windy today, isn't it? It's very windy. Yeah. I might run it straight up to see if it's going to fly or not. Yeah, just halfway right here in the coconut. That's it. Don't take it off because it's so windy. Okay. That's successful. That's good. Okay. It says I can take off right now. Let's see. Your finger. Okay, we don't have the propellers on it, so we're just going to see if the rotors are going to turn. That's all. Okay. Well, it's quiet. Everything looks pretty good. It's quiet. I don't have a foggy lens i got to deal with. Maybe the fogginess will go away. It's still probably... From the moisture inside, got the lens of the camera a little foggy. But I am seeing, getting an image. Maybe I'll run it straight up to see what happens. I'll put the propellers on it. Check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up slow. I'm gonna go up slow and easy. See, what are you gonna do now? See if it'll fly. Take off. But we're gonna go slow. It looks like it's, make sure it's stable. Everything's stable. I'm only gonna go up a little bit here.
in the well Don't ask me, I'll never tell I looked to you as it fell But now you're in my way I trade my soul for a wish Pennies and dimes for a kiss I wasn't looking for this But now you're in my way Your stare was holding Ripped jeans skin was showing High night wind was blowing Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe It's hard to look right at you baby But here's my number, so call me maybe So call me maybe, so call me maybe You cast a spell on me, spell on me You hit me like the sky fell on me, fell on me and I decided you look well on me, well on me So let's go somewhere no one else can see you and me Turn the lights out now, now I'll take you by the hand Hand you another drink, drink it if you can Can you spend a little time, time is slipping away Away from us, so stay, stay with me, I can make Make you glad you came oh, My little friend, you're working, yay! Hallelujah. It's okay, I think it's okay. Let's see if it recorded. I'm gonna show the video. If you can see the video, it worked. Here we go. Okay, it's a moment of truth. We're gonna check out the camera. See if it records. Thank <laughs> you.